Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to uh, Manville, Louisiana, for a frauditor go going by the name of Pontchartrain Audits, as he attempts to file a complaint over uh, attempts to file a complaint be over an officer who apparently gave his information to the other claimant in an accident or something like that. Well, I thought it was a uh, standard procedure to give out information to each other after an accident. That way your, your insurance companies can talk to each other and everything like that. I mean, isn't that the way it's supposed to go? I mean, I, that's what I thought it was anyway. But you know how frauditors are. Totally ignorant of everything they encounter. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, Pontchartrain Audit here. I'm out here today at the Mandeville Police Department in Mandeville, Louisiana. I'm out here today to file a formal internal affairs complaint because I was involved in a car accident last week. The other driver was at fault and they decided to release my contact information to them. Well, well, aren't you supposed to release your contact information to the other claimant anyway? Because, well, the insurance companies do have to talk to each other about uh, getting everything covered. I mean, that has been the experience that I've seen in the past with uh, traffic accidents, that you have to give out your information to the other person to, for it to be covered on anything. I mean, that's just the way it works. So, I think that's a massive ethics violation. If, it, if this were a serious crime, would you release the contact information of the victim so that they can be re-victimized? No. Oh yeah, a major false equivalency fallacy right here, dude. You just compared a traffic accident to a crime in that kind of manner right there. And then, like I said, it's a traffic accident. It is not a crime. Sure, you are not going to give out the victim's information to the uh, culprit of the crime. I mean, that's just poor policy right there. I mean, come on now, dude. But this is a traffic accident. It has, it has an entirely different set of rules and regulations governing it, you dumbass. So quit with the false equivalencies and smarten up at least. Okay, as you can see, got camera watching us at all times, surveillance camera in use, we have fingerprints, please push the dispatch button and pick up the phone for assistance or call that number. Yeah, yeah, let's just go ahead and skip ahead to where you make the complaint and you end up being kicked out of the place anyway. So, roll that beautiful bean footage. Fifteen minutes later. Uh, I'm, I'm here, I'm trying to talk to someone from Internal Affairs. Okay, well, I, I can talk to you. Uh, you want to come in the back? Sure. Right. And, and are you being helped? We just need to pay uh, for a new court date. A new court date? You need a new court date? Mm -hmm. uh, let me, let me he got this in the mail, but he thought this was the issue. So he thought his court date was for... Hey, that officer is going to look at it and see what... Uh, he'll, he'll call you back in a few minutes. How can I help you? Uh, well, I'd like to file an internal affairs complaint. Come on back. What is the issue? Uh, I was the victim in a hit and run car accident. Okay. And uh, my information, my personal information, including my cell phone number my, that I use for personal use, was given to the other party. Okay. Which, that's why you guys exist to go between. And, you know, that's a major ethics violation. Oh, 
Okay. Proclamation. I guess we're going to sit down and so we don't get any copyrighted audio from the television next to me. I will pause. Uh, I'm I'm waiting on someone from Internal Affairs. Okay. So. You open? I don't. I'll get you one. You know, this really doesn't fit with the narrative that a lot of fraudsters have that uh, the that police officers are nothing but a bunch of tyrants. I mean, these guys here have been nothing but accommodating so far. It's just that they have a no filming inside the building policy that they're about to enforce. And, and you know, I'm sure he'll complain about that too. He'll file a complaint on that. And he will file a complaint on that complaint too if it doesn't go through. So uh, it's just an end the cycle with these frauditors. So let's continue on, shall we? Okay. Um, and what do I do if I don't necessarily have uh, a name for, about the officer? We'll put whatever information we have and we can look it up. Okay. Because, I mean, I have the incident here, the, the, the report, okay. but, mm -hmm. so I don't know who necessarily is the investigating officer. But. Well, we, we'll be able to look it up. Okay. You know, it, it's one of those things like, you know, it, it was a hit and run accident. Like, I, I can only imagine if this were a more serious crime, you know, for example, just a hypothetical scenario obviously a okay. a victim of a Are you recording me? I am recording yes Well I'd rather not be recording my place of work Okay well uh citizens have the right to record police in the course of their duty in, in, in public that's correct Okay but we're in, we're inside Mandeville police complex Okay. Well, I was recording in the lobby, and I brought it in. I was well, recording can, from there. Well, you can you can be recording outside. I don't mind that. But we also have have people coming through here, and you have no right to record inside of our building. I can record in the lobby. Yeah, that's we'll, for we'll sure. Just, why don't you come outside to the lobby? Okay. I just for for my sake. You can record it outside the lobby in a, in a public area. No problem. But I would rather not be recorded and other people inside our, our building where you have other people inside and it's a, a private area. I understand. I, I also, for my for my sake, I know it takes a lot more. Just have a, have a seat out in the lobby. And uh, if you can fill out the paperwork, we'll, we'll take care. Okay. Thank you very much for coming in. I mean, okay. I wasn't being secretive about this at all. Like, I'm literally holding it up here, and we have the Mandeville Police Department complaint on an officer form. Well, maybe he didn't notice to begin with. Maybe none of them noticed that you were holding anything that was a recording device. And you sure as hell did not tell them that you were recording. So it's only understandable that they would be a little bit upset at that point. Because, well, yeah, I can imagine that they didn't want you recording in the back room. Because that'd be a violation of policy. Not to mention that if there were people... Uh, back there who were victims of any real crimes that they didn't want their faces to be on YouTube either. I mean, you say you don't want your information getting out, but yet you don't seem to think about the others that are in this world besides yourself. So, yeah, just like any other frauditor, you just are in it for yourself and you don't care about anybody else. But anyway, he files his complaint and he really does nothing else for the rest of the video. So, 
we'll file this one as completely done and we'll keep an eye on this dude, see what else he has to offer us as far as the stupidity goes. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.